What's up, guys? Welcome back to Crew Outdoors. Uh, on today's episode, we're finally getting getting a chance to cook all of the coots that we managed to harvest on the last day of duck season. Uh, we had a blast out there. Um, I took my younger brother, and we were with my dad, and that was a lot of fun getting to see uh, my younger brother on his first duck hunt. Um, so we were able to harvest nine coots, um, which will be plenty. And all we did to prepare these is we just breasted these guys out. So all we did was we took the breast right out of the coot, and we did that for all nine of them, and that's the meat that we're going to be cooking up for you guys today. Now, coots get a super bad rap from a lot of people. Everyone says, oh, they taste like mud, they taste like garbage, don't even bother eating them. Now, I have had coot in the past. That was a few years ago, though. And the way we cooked it up then is we made some stir fry and put the coot in there. And I remember that tasting pretty good. Uh, but today, I really want to taste exactly what that meat tastes like. So we're going to dumb down the recipe a lot. And all I've got today is I've got some garlic salt, some minced onion, and our favorite uh, Zatarain's blackened seasoning. Just for a little bit of a kick, we put this stuff on everything. And then I've got a little tub of butter. Um, now basically, I'm just gonna put some butter in a pan. Uh, I'm just gonna season up the meat lightly, just throw in, a, throw in some seasoning, and then we're just gonna fry it up in the pan, just like you would a steak. Um, now I really don't know how that's gonna go, because I've never cooked coot like that. Um, and I'm sure that's not the way you're probably supposed to do it, but then again, no one really eats coot, so I'm not sure if there is a way you're supposed to do it. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to kick this up for you guys and to show you our honest opinion of what coot actually tastes like. Got him. Well done. Let's go get him. So all I'm going to be doing to prepare the coot um, is I'm just going to take our breast right here and I'm just going to feel for that little bone that runs right through the middle of the breast. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to carefully slice the meat right off of that bone. Okay. So there's our first one, right? Just a nice little chunk of coop meat right there. Now we've got the whole other side of the breast. And I don't think I'm going to cook up all nine for you guys right now. I'll probably uh, breast out two of them. So we'll have four nice pieces like this. And then we'll get to cooking. Alright guys, so right here we've got our four breasted out pieces of coot. Um, they look super clean. They do have this little bit of fat on there, and I'm not going to worry about that at all. I'm not going to trim that off. Um, and I know that with deer and elk and stuff um, and other big game animals, typically that gamey flavor that you would taste does come from the fat. So maybe we'll cut off a piece of fat and fry that and see if that's the case with this coot. But yep, so first off, we're just going to start out with our garlic salt. Um, all I'm going to do is just sprinkle a bit of that on there. You don't want to go too much, but you can be pretty liberal with that. And I'm just going to show you the one side, but we're typically just going to do the same thing on the other side. So we'll just repeat after this. But then we're just going to shake on some minced onion. And you don't have to do the minced onion. I just really like that stuff. I put that on a lot of stuff. But then we've got our Zatarans blackened seasoning. If you guys have not got yourself some of this Zatarans, this is great on elk, deer, fish, chicken, anything, any kind of meat that you're going to cook, this is, this should be your go-to. So yeah, we're just going to sprinkle some of that on there. And yeah, okay. So now we've got our coot all seasoned up. And like I said, we're just going to repeat that same process on the other side. And then we're going to head over to the stove and we're going to throw some butter in the pan and we're going to fry these guys up. Okay. Okay, so we brought our cutting board over here to the counter, and we're just going to let these guys sit here for a minute while we get the stove all fired up and that butter melted in that pan, and then we're going to get these all fried up. Just going to throw in a little spoonful of butter there, spread that around a little bit, wait till it melts, and we'll get that coot all fired up. Alrighty guys, well, 
Now that all that butter's melted, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our strips of coot and we're just gonna lay them in the pan. Okay, there you go. Hopefully all that butter gives it a nice flavor. Just send that butter down the pan. Okay, now the lid goes on and we're just gonna leave it for, I don't know, probably two or three minutes on each side. All right guys, well, it's been a couple minutes. We're gonna put this guy over. Okay, they're looking pretty good. We're just going to make sure all the pieces are flipped over and yeah. Now, I don't. what kind of diseases can you get from eating undercooked duck? Now that I've said it before, I, I'm kind of nervous. So, if you guys know of any, <laughs> or if that's a real thing, make sure you guys go down in the comments and tell me about them. And hope that I do not get them. Okay, we're going to leave that for a couple more minutes. Hey guys, I don't know about you, but those are looking pretty good. Pretty done. Okay. I think in total those cook for probably five minutes, five or six. So we are going to take these off. I just got a little paper plate here. I'm just going to put those on. Okay, there you have it. Back to the table. Time to try these. All right, guys, well, this is it. The moment of absolute truth. Now, before I try these, I know that there are some other ways that I could have cooked it where I can almost guarantee that this is gonna taste good. One, a crock pot. Uh, when I was talking about how I had coot earlier, uh, I mentioned stir fry. We also did the crock pot method with a little bit of barbecue sauce, and that tasted fine. Um, just like any other uh, bird or game bird that you're going to go out and shoot. So I know that I could have done it that way and guaranteed that the taste would be there and that it would kind of take in all of those juices and flavors from the crock pot. But I feel that this way it's really um, the absolute test of what the meat will actually taste like. And I can give you guys my absolute honest opinion and then you guys can know whether or not do you want to go out and kill coots and make it, make it your new hobby as a coot hunter or do you want to leave them alone? So just right off the bat, um, those cut pretty easily. So it's pretty tender. Um, there's not really any pink inside anymore. It's all pretty dark. Um, but yeah, we've got a little bit of fat on this piece and hopefully it tastes good. Okay. Holy crap. Okay, I need to put this fork down. Anybody that has ever told you that coot tastes bad, they need to try this. Because I don't know what they did, but this is absolutely delicious. This tastes way better than any kind of rabbit, cottontail, anything like that, any kind of pheasant I've ever had. So tender. So, I don't know, it's just delicious. Like, this would be your ideal piece of meat from a game bird. I do not know what anyone is talking about. I think they're crazy. This tastes so good. No gaminess to it at all. And I promise, guys, this is my honest reaction. Like, if this tasted bad, I would tell you. But no, this tastes absolutely great. I'm sure those seasonings we added definitely helped, but... The dogs right here wanted some, but I think it's a little too good. I don't think I can give her any. <laughs> well, guys, there you have it. 
if you guys are passing up coots while you're in the duck blind because you're thinking that they don't taste any good or that you should just feed them to your dog, you're absolutely crazy. I think a lot of um, a lot of these types of animals, such as like antelope and coots, uh, it has a lot to do with how you prepare them and how you treat them right as you uh, kill them. With antelope, antelope also gets a really bad rep. And a lot of people say that antelope tastes gross. But with antelope, you just need to make sure you're on top of it. You need to skin them out, quarter them, get them on ice within just 30 minutes or less after you shoot them. And I think that coots are the same way. After you shoot them, you need to keep them cool. You need to make sure that they don't sit overnight in the guts. You want to breast them out as soon as you can. Uh, we probably breasted ours just a few hours after uh, we shot them once we got home. But yeah, these literally taste phenomenal. There's no game. Tastes amazing. So guys, there you have it. You guys need to all be going out and you need to be killing coots where you're taking these coot breasts, turn them, turning them into a delicious meal, and all of you guys can do it. There's coots everywhere. We got a plethora of coots in Utah. I know that, but yeah, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed us cooking these coots up um, and finding out what they really taste like. 10 out of 10 would definitely do it again. Um, I'm sure I'll be back out there next season uh, killing coots just like I was this season. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Also, really quick, if you guys noticed this hat that I'm wearing or this hoodie, um, Kerr Outdoors Apparel is coming very soon. We want to have our website launched by the time we go to the Honey Expo, which is Feb tip, or February 15th, I believe. So, by February 15th, our website, kerroutdoors.com, is going to be up and running, and you guys can get your own hats, your own hoodies, we've got shirts, all sorts of stuff for you guys. So make sure you guys follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all of our social media, to make sure you can stay tuned for when the website launches. And yeah, thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next week.